Are you interested in using Game Maker to develop your first indie game? Where should you start? In this video, we've gathered some great tips and helpful resources to help you get started on your game dev journey with this awesome 2D game engine. Taking the first step with a game engine may be the most difficult part of game development. There's definitely a lot to think about. What types of games can you make with it? Are there enough tutorials? Where does the community hang out? We want to give you the necessary info and point you in the right direction to be able to build up the confidence needed to take that first step. As a disclaimer, before we start, this is not a sponsored video and does not contain any paid promotion. Now, without further ado, we are Ask Game Dev, and this is a Game Engine Starter Guide for Game Maker. Welcome back. We make videos on how to elevate your game development and inspire others. If after watching this video, you want to continue the game dev conversation, check the video description for a link to our Discord server. We are now making fresh Ask Game Dev content on all of the major social networks, so be sure to check us out there too. What is Game Maker? Game Maker is a cross-platform game engine focused on the creation of 2D games. It was developed in 1999 by Dutch computer scientist and university professor Mark Overmars. The first iteration of the software, under the name Animo, was intended to be an animation tool. It quickly evolved into a game creation tool and adopted the name of Game Maker. In 2007, Mark Overmars partnered with YoYo Games, a company that has since been the main developer behind Game Maker. The engine has gone through multiple versions and names, and with its latest version, released in 2022, it has readopted its original name, Game Maker. The engine has cemented itself as one of the best game engines for new and aspiring game developers, thanks to its accessibility and visual scripting tools. With Game Maker, devs can build a vast array of different types of 2D games thanks to its versatile scripting library. Game Maker also gives more experienced devs the chance to create their own scripts with a custom language called Game Maker Language, or GML. GML is inspired by languages like JavaScript and C-like languages. Aside from its versatile scripting options, Game Maker is also available for Windows and Mac. In November 2023, in a move that had The Verge remarking that Christmas has come early for indie slash solo game developers, the team behind Game Maker announced a new pricing model that is friendly to indie and hobbyist game developers. There are three tiers, free, professional, and enterprise. The free version grants a non-commercial license and includes desktop, web, and mobile exports. You can also export to GX.Games, a web-based games platform by GameMaker. Looking to participate in a game jam? This is the tier for you. The professional version contains the same exporting functionality as the free version, but with a commercial license. If you're looking to sell your game on a platform like Steam or Itch, this is the tier for you. If you're wanting to get your game on a console, then you want to look at the Enterprise version. With the Enterprise version, you can export your game to PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, X, S, and Nintendo Switch platforms. Of course, in order to access these capabilities, you'll first need to be a registered developer for the selected platform. So where's a good place to start learning Game Maker? If you want to learn the basics of the engine, Game Maker has you covered directly on their website. Go to GameMaker.io and click on the Tutorials tab. There are more than enough resources there to give you a great start onboarding to the game engine. Additionally, if you click on the Community tab, you'll get access to the community forums and the knowledge base. GameMaker's knowledge base is a collection of FAQs, troubleshooting docs, and guides that can easily help you overcome many of the common obstacles that arise while starting with the engine. The community forum, on the other hand, will help you with more complex conversations and inquiries. GameMaker's official forum hosts key topics to novice devs such as basic and advanced programming, game design, development, publishing, and more. GameMaker has yet another source of knowledge and inspiration, and that is its official YouTube channel. There, you'll not only find video versions of many of the tutorials hosted on their website, but also specialized video content for game developers. Speaking of YouTube, let's look at some other YouTube channels that provide great Game Maker tutorials and content. Let's start off with Sean Spaulding, a YouTube channel created by a former Ubisoft game designer turned indie. Sean has already released one game as an indie dev, Another Perspective, and is currently working on a second release, Pokey Poke. 
In Sean's channel, you'll find posts on game maker tutorials, devlogs from their game development, talks, and videos about game development in general. Next up, we've got One Up Indie, a game maker tutorial channel that focuses on mainly programming. If you're just starting with Game Maker, we highly recommend you watch Game Maker 2023 explained quick and dirty. One Up Indie also hosts an itch.io site where he sells several Game Maker games, asset packs, and popular genre templates. Our next YouTube channel is Slidar, one of the best options out there for devs who are completely new to both visual and written programming. In his videos, Slidar introduces devs to Game Maker language and GML visuals with tutorials that also teach about topics like level design, pixel art, UI, game mechanics, and more. Slidar is also working on an upcoming action adventure dungeon crawler called Keepers of Pyrite. You can check it out on keepersofpyrite.com. Another YouTube channel you might want to check out is Game Maker Station Matharu. A great video library for Game Maker tutorials that cover many important topics like shaders, particles, animation curves, bug fixing, and so much more. So, you've got your basics and you found some great tutorials. What's next? Explore some Game Maker communities. First, we have the Game Maker Steam Community website. Since the engine is available on Steam, just like any other game on the platform, it has a community tab. There, you'll find a forum filled with questions and discussions, sections for screenshots, artwork, and videos to share ideas and get feedback, and a section where experienced users share some awesome guides. Next, let's go to Reddit and the Game Maker subreddit. This subreddit is a must visit if you're a Game Maker developer. With around 80,000 members, there's a high chance you'll find all the help you need on the Game Maker community. Just remember to review the rules section before you post there. Next up, let's look at Game Jam, GM48. Another large part of Game Maker's developer community gathers around the GM48 Game Jam, which is sponsored by YoYo Games and organized by developer Peter Jorgensen. For GM48, all the devs must create a game within the 48-hour time frame that the event takes place in. Aside from the experience of participating in a game jam, devs can also access an archive with more than 100 postmortems and more than 200 open source projects to learn even more about Game Maker. Lastly, moving on to Discord, we can't forget the official Game Maker Discord, which acts as a central community hub for the engine. Here you'll find a place to talk about everything related to the engine and games made with it. Aside from technical questions and conversations, you can also showcase your work and get feedback from other developers. Do you have a favorite Game Maker community? Let us know in the comments. Last, but definitely not least, let's get inspired. What's possible with Game Maker? We want to give a shout out to some amazing Game Maker devs and look at their fantastic creations. Not only that, for each of the games below, we've found some valuable developer insights and have a treasure trove of links to share. They'll be in the description. Loop Hero by Four Quarters Loop Hero is a recent success story worth noting. Released in March 2021, the game had already sold over 1 million copies by the end of the year. We found an excellent article on Game Developer where the devs at Four Quarters deliver a post-mortem for their game, detailing their development and launch experience. Chicory, A Colorful Tale by Greg Lobanoff. This cute canine adventure that you might remember as Draw Dog currently sits with a 97% overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam. Make sure to watch Rebecca Saltzman of Finji's interesting marketing and PR postmortem presented on Lobanoff's colorful top-down adventure. Hyperlight Drifter by Heart Machine. This pixel art action-adventure RPG is a flagship game for the Game Maker engine and its developer community. If you haven't played it yet, we highly recommend you do. Not diminishing the art and design of this game, its audio design and music are considered one of the aspects that push the game to masterpiece territory. You can check out a wonderful GDC talk titled The Sound and Music of Hyperlight Drifter where Heart Machine's Akash Thakar and musician Rich Vreeland discuss the impact of sound and music in video games. Cook Serve Delicious 3 by Vertigo Gaming David Galindo has been featured several times on the official Game Maker YouTube channel as a good example for aspiring game developers who want to establish a successful game business. We especially recommend a video titled David Galindo, A Game Developer's Journey, where David explains every step needed to take an idea all the way from concept to a finished game. 
Downwell by Maupin, aka Ojiro Fumoto. Ojiro started developing his first game, Downwell, in 2014. When it was released in 2015, it quickly became a highly rated hit and a game maker cult classic. You can check out his talk, Ojiro Fumoto, Everything Went Down Well, Screen Shake 2016 Keynote by the House of Indie and a short documentary, Down Well, Art and Video Games, Ojiro Fumoto by Artlike to learn more on his experience creating Downwell. Hotline Miami by Denetton Games a 2012 top-down shooter game that made headlines across all the best gaming media outlets in its time. GameMaker interviewed the duo responsible for Hotline Miami on its 10th anniversary. In this interview, they explain why the game was such a big hit and their experience creating the music, characters, art, and visual style of the game. Last, but certainly not least, Undertale by Toby Fox. Undertale is probably one of those games that needs no introduction, but in case you don't know it, it's one of the most defining indie games of all time. You can check out the three-part interview titled Toby Fox Camp Fan Gamer interviewed July 2015 by Pixelated Noose, where we get to know more about the mind behind Undertale. We hope you're informed and inspired. Now go out and start making games. Thanks for watching. For more Ask Game Dev, check out this playlist about solo developed games or this video on GameMaker Games.